This is Dr. Achyakar, a senior orthopedic and a joint replacement surgeon at Apollo Hospital, Banargata Road. Uh, I am going to speak on about uh, the hip replacements. A lot of uh, uh, doubts in the people's mind about hip replacement. What is exactly hip replacement? And uh, there are other things I am just going to clarify you in a few, a few minutes. So this is the hip joint, is, you can see this is a ball and socket variety. So, and this is the cartilage. In arthritis means this is a hip is arthritis completely, the cartilage is damaged. So there are different ways of doing hip replacement, what we can see. There are people comes and ask cemented or not, uncemented or not, uh, ceramic on ceramic, metal on poly, ceramic on poly and dual mobility, all those questions are there. So these are the doctors has to decide about the surgery, which part we used. Uh, the best surgeon can always prefer the best uh, implant and best technique for the patient. So what is the best is uh, cemented or uncemented is the most common question. The cemented one here we can see there is just made up of smooth stainless steel and uh, which is filled with the cement and fixed into the bone like this. What exactly an hip replacement means, I will just show you. Hip replacement means what we do is we cut the neck and we put the stem. This stem is maybe cemented or non-cemented we can use based on the bone quality of this. If the bone quality is good, where uncemented fixation is do well. And if the bone quality is not good, cemented fixation is required. This bearing surface means when you put the cup here with this acetabulum, like this. This is the acetabulum. This is the hip joint and this is acetabulum. The acetabulum is arthritis means like this, where you are going to, this is a rough and out. So what we are going to do is, you are putting a cup like this. So this is a uncemented cup where we can see is a porous surface and uncemented cup will be put and there is a plastic surface will be there. Instead of this plastic, there is also a ceramic surface, there is also a metal surface. So nowadays, it is a standard thing, in majority of all over world, it is consensus about is a ceramic on poly is the best bearing surfaces, otherwise metal on poly. Ceramic on poly is like this, where the ceramic, this is the poly is the plastic, high quality plastic is called a cross link poly. And metal head will be like this. Metal head will be like this. And there is a ceramic head also. The ceramic head and the poly use the best bearing surfaces, the where it where will be lesser. In case of metal head, where instead of this ceramic head, we can use this a metal head like this. The best bearing surface is ceramic on poly. The ceramic on ceramic also there will be their bearing surfaces. Instead of this poly, there is a ceramic liner, there is a pink color liner will be there. Problem with the ceramic on ceramic, it is a hard and hard surface where it can cause a squeaking sound, also can cause a chip fracture of the ceramic. And metal on metal earlier in those days it was there. Instead of this metal plastic liner, there is a metal liner will be there like this metal liner. So the ideal bearing surfaces is the ceramic on poly is the ideal best, best bearing surfaces in till now. It has already given a result after 20 years and it is going to be expected after 30 years of lifetime. So I have told you about cemented, non-cemented. Non-cemented is, is made up of titanium one where there is a porous surface will be there, bone will be grown on this. In cemented there is no bone go growth. Cement is a filler where we fix the stem to like this. Cement will be fixed to the uncemented or cemented like this. So this is how it is. So the other things which is uh, also uh, people are asking me about dual mobility. Dual mobility is where you know, fresh fracture neck femur patients or patient, patients of little older age group where to prevent the dislocation. The dislocation is what when we put the joint, it can come out like this. In dual mobility, there won't be any dislocations because of the, the tripolar component of the cup like this here. I'll show you this. So this is the cup and there is a poly. The poly, there is again inside the ceramic head where if we try to come out, it will not come out. Again, it prevents the further dislocation because of the th th three movements occurring in this joint. This is the where whether the elderly people, youngish, maybe around 50 to 60 or 70 age, where lifespan is very good, where there is a dual mobility hip replacement works very well because it will prevent the dislocation. The fracture neck femur, elderly people, this is a boom surgery for where you can mobilize them faster. There won't be any dislocations. There won't be any. Uh, uh, bed sore formation or urinary tract infection all the complications of the hip replacement in elderly people can be prevented with this dual mobility 
you know, whenever the dual mobility if you are using an angle group be careful about the polyware and the long term results